I want you now to plant firmly in mind the specific nature and character of the covenant the Almighty made with David, for it is a vital link in the purpose and mission of Christ, an important key to Bible understanding. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men, but my mercy shall not depart away from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before thee, and thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. What if Solomon or the children of Israel disobey? Would that cancel this covenant? Verses 14 to 15 plainly say that if they commit iniquity, God will chasten them with the rod of men, but will not break this covenant. The throne shall go on forever just the same. Notice particularly, in case of disobedience, God will not take the throne away as he took it from Saul. How did he take it from Saul? Saul's dynasty ended. No son of Saul ever sat on the throne, but Solomon's dynasty would not end. The punishment for disobedience would be chastening at the hands of men. Almighty God made an absolutely binding, just how binding we shall see, covenant with David. There were no conditions. Nothing that would happen could prevent it. The sins of the people were not to change it. The promise stood immutable. Now while his throne is enduring through all generations, as the days of heaven, consider the next verse. If his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes, Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. His seed, dynasty, shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon, and as a faithful witness in heaven. This is speaking of those generations when his children may disobey and forsake God's law. Some today are excusing their inability to locate this throne by saying the covenant was conditioned, that because the children of Israel disobeyed God, the covenant was broken. But what does the Almighty say? If the children disobey and transgress, they shall be punished for their transgression, but not by the breaking of God's unconditional covenant with David. Notice now how binding is God's covenant with David. Thus saith the Eternal, if ye can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, and that there should not be day and night in their season, then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant, that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne. Unless you can stop this old earth from turning on its axis. Unless you can remove the sun and the moon and the stars from heaven, says the Almighty, you cannot prevent him from keeping his covenant to maintain continuously through all generations, forever. From the time of David and Solomon, a descendant of David in one continuous dynasty on that throne. The infallibility of the Bible is at stake. God's word is at stake. Subscribe to this channel for upcoming Herbert W. Armstrong content.